Hey collective, so we're going to do a quick energy check. We're going to see what the divine wants you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. So yesterday I got a message. And the reason why I got this message is you guys know that, you know, I'm on TikTok now. Okay. Um, I'm trying to grow, um, grow my platform over there. I would love to do a live with you guys over there, but I need to reach a hundred, a thousand, I mean, a thousand subscribers before they allow me to do a live with you guys. Um, so if you're not following me, go follow me on TikTok. Yay. <laughs> Thank you guys for the love and support. Um, so I got an interesting message yesterday. I was on TikTok and I was scrolling and I'm like, you know, looking at all these 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 things kept popping up of these girls face tatting their face with their the guy or the person that they were with. I'm like, when is this a new trend? Since when do we sit here and start tatting our face with the pictures of 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 a of, a, of our significant other? I know when I was growing up, it was told never to tat your face, never to tat where you where it could be visible at, so that when you're looking for a job, it could be covered, right? Now, I get it. Everybody has their freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of whatever, right? But I sit there and I look at this and, and what I heard was Sodom and Gomorrah. And I was like, what? So now I've heard that those that before in the Bible. And so I started researching and it said that Sodom and Gomorrah um, those cities were destroyed by God for their wickedness. Okay. So I'm like wickedness. Okay. Now it guys, we have to be honest with ourselves at some point of time here. Um, I respect women who have their, 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 their choice to do what they want. Okay. But every other person in the entertainment industry, celebrities, um, they all look alike. I'm starting to notice a lot of podcasts talking about this also. Um, you know, we have so much stuff going on there that hypersexualizes our children. These little kids are seeing this stuff. And the message I got was, this world is a repeat of Sodom and Gomorrah. And I was like, well, what happened? What was the wickedness that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? So I started researching. And it says sexual immortality, immorality, which is, you know, that could also be um, discussed as, um, you know, anything that has to do with not your... The JJ being penetrated. Um, <laughs> um, unnatural lust, gang rape, mob violence, people turning their backs on the people who needed organized crime could be, you know, it, it was something that was said in Sodom and Gomorrah as well. And I'm like, spirit, triumph and success. This is the truth. This is the truth. And I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, there's, there's every, everything I kept like going up. It was somebody shaking their ass, somebody's vagina parts showing, somebody's tits showing. I'm like, what is this? What is this? I can't even watch a movie nowadays with my boyfriend without... Two girls on one guy, three, sexual, everything, sexual, hypersexual, everything. I'm like, this is just disgusting. This is just disgusting to me. It's on the billboards, it's on the buses, it's it's on ads, it's everywhere. These are what our children are seeing. Mental conflict. Um, it creates confusion. It creates illusions. It, 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 you know, you see these, these, our young little girls, our children 
see these Barbie doll females and they want to be like them thinking that that's the way that they should look. And it sends something to their brain saying that if they don't look like this Barbie doll, this celebrity, okay, that they have no identity, that they are ugly. This is horrible. It says something to our little young kings in this world that if you don't have five or more girls, you ain't the man. If you don't have all this money and, and, and cars and a thousand people following you, cheering you on, you ain't the man. Like, this is just like, I'm over this. <laughs> I'm so over it. Um, It's creating confusion. It's creating self-worth, self-esteem issues. Yeah. Threesomes, escorts. You know, like that, that, that other fucking porn thing that they have out there. Oh. <sighs> That fans based thing. Um, and hey, I am not judging people. I'm just speaking on my opinion. What I remember, what I, I don't want my, I didn't want my kids growing up seeing that. It's so crazy because you know what spirit's making me remember? I remember before my awakening, I was so... I would not leave my house if I wasn't dressed, my hair wasn't done, my makeup wasn't put on, right? And ever since my awakening, I've been on this all natural stuff. Nothing in my hair, nothing on my face, nothing, 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 no makeup. And my kids are like, you don't put no makeup on no more. Like, uh-uh-uh-uh. Like, you don't have fun. You don't, uh-uh-uh. Okay. No, I don't. I, I I actually hate putting on makeup. And not that I was wearing a cake of makeup. <laughs> um, it makes people go through depression. This is what this this is what this is and I yeah, listen, I like to I, lo I love hip hop music. I feel like it's just it's just all sexual now. If you ain't grinding, rubbing Bent over, face down, ass up, backing it up. This is what all these women do. Their butt cheeks are hanging out. Their cleavage is out. They're twerking, popping, locking, dropping. I get having fun. I get it. But... So, the message is, the world is a repeat of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, we all know, if you guys don't know, Sodom and Gomorrah, those two cities, sister cities, were destroyed by God for their wickedness. There was sulfur and fire that rained down on those cities, okay? Another thing that I got from that when I was researching was, there was this guy, he had Lot, he had a wife, and God instructed them to flee Sodom and Gomorrah because they were going to, it was a warning for them to leave. Okay. Cause it was too wicked and they were too pure. Um, he wanted them to leave. He told them, do not turn back. Once you leave, you do not turn back. Don't look back. Well, what Lot's wife decided to look back. She disobeyed God. And what happened? She ended up turning into a pillar of salt. And when I was researching that, you know, what, what, what is, what is the meaning? What is, um, why would, why, you know, God turned this lady into a pillar of salt. So it said that one of the things said that it was because, um, this is what happens to those who choose worldly life over salvation. She chose to look back, get one last glimpse. Now, why Why would you want to look at that knowing that God is telling you, don't look back? And this could be a message for you guys. Some of you guys may be thinking to look back, go backwards, you know?
Mm. Trapped in fear. Some of you guys may be trapped in fear. You know, take the message as it resonates, guys. Okay. Um, some of you guys, you know, you're afraid. Some, some, you know, you may be looking back because you're afraid to release people that you've celebrated with. You may be conflicted. Okay. On sh if I emotionally, if I withdraw from these people, am I, you know, trapped in fear, trapped in fear, emotionally withdrawn, mental conflict. This is somebody who doesn't believe. Somebody who doesn't have faith. Emotionally withdrawn could also represent that somebody who is within hermit mode, withdrawing from people that no longer serve their highest good, right? We could look at it that way. That they're, they're finally allowing the waves, the water to come towards them. This person looks like they're praying, right? To seek answers. Um, and then they could be getting conflicted, you know, because at one point in time in their life, this was their life. I know in the beginning of my journey, I used to be like, um, I used to miss the people I used to hang out with, but then I had to sit down and start thinking like, really do it. What do I miss about this? Going out, spending money, partying, getting drunk, coming home, you know, especially when all my kids left. Like, yeah, uh-uh, I chose this. I, sp I chose spiritual union with myself and the divine. I said, uh-uh. I packed my shit up and I left to Amsterdam for a full year. I said, I'm done. I don't want that life. I've had to have a spiritual union with the divine, with my ancestors, with the angels, with my connection, I've, I've had to find peace and harmony, balance in my life because my life wasn't balanced. It seemed like it was balanced when I was in it, but it wasn't. It wasn't balanced. I'm hearing, I am the word. Ooh, and I heard, and the word is me. Listen. It's so crazy because the reason why that message came through was because I was flicking through my TikTok. And as I was flicking up, I seen all these girls with fake tattoos on their face of men. I'm like, what is this? When did this become a trend? When? Why put somebody else's face on your face? You have your own identity. Trust the chess queen strategizing. Mm. If you guys have walked away from people and you guys are feeling conflicted about it, um, you know, you guys may be feeling emotionally left out, alone. Um, maybe you just want somebody to talk to, right? I, I know that feeling, guys. Trust that spirit is guiding you away from this path for a reason. Okay? Connect with spirit. Find things to do. Okay, so that you could 
Spend your time being busy and balancing out your energies. Divine guidance, I can never make this up. Higher knowing. Number three, try to find a way to get yourself in alignment. I would, I would be doing meditation for one hour. Um, go to the park for another hour. That's two hours of my day gone. Um, journaling. I would put in taking a nap. I would put in, you know, a spiritual bath. I would put in cooking my favorite food. I would put in some exercise there by um, putting on my favorite music and dancing, shaking my butt in my privacy of my home. Okay. Um, and just meditation, drawing, music, whatever it is that you like to do, creating, gardening, I don't know. Trust that you're being divinely guided. You may be still friends with these people on social media and you're seeing them toasting up to a good life. I would block them all. I would block them all. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have not had my coffee, so I'm yawning like crazy. Ugh. Trust that you're being guided. Trust that spirit. There's a, there's a plan behind all of this, okay? Spirit's not just isolating you, making you walk away from these people because spirit is punishing you. That is not what spirit is doing. Spirit is trying to balance your energy. You're in partnership right now with your spirit guides, with the divine. That's what you're in partnership right now with. Acquiring, acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation. Some of you guys think that you guys, you know, you see these people on social media. You see them toasting up and you think that, how could they be so bad when... They're celebrating and people love to be around them and da, 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 da. it's a facade. Okay. It's a manipulation. The shadow queen. Okay. Do not. Do not allow yourself to be manipulated collective. It's what they want you to see. Oh, you walked away from us. So let me show you, um, you know, how important I was in your life. Yeah, guilt. Mm-hmm. I can never make this up. Mm-mm. They're probably showing off that they're going on trips, traveling here, flying there, on the boats there. Mm-hmm. It's a facade. Be grateful. Be grateful right now. Because 10 times out of 10, Spirit guides you away from these people because something's about to happen. And you don't want to be in the midst of that. I learned that lesson. Mm-hmm. Adversity. You don't want to go through their adversity. Don't get hit with their karma. Okay? You might be lonely now. But trust me, you're never alone. Believe me. I know this. <sighs> what do we need to see here about this? Mm -hmm. Main female. You guys may be walking away from somebody. These are your court. This is your contract. Spirit's saying it's okay for you to walk away from this contract with these people. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a female. I don't know. Um, some of you guys may have walked away from a man and they're posting their main their new main female, right? <laughs> okay, Folio. You know. At one point in time, you were the you were the main female that everybody wanted to hang out with. Okay, there was a reason. It was your energy. 
It is time for you to pull back. Call your power back. Okay? Tap into your feminine energy also, I'm hearing. If you're a masculine, that's resonating with this, this reading. These people are about to experience some shit that you've never... This is, this is, this is... Whether they're experiencing this on the physical, their spirit is feeling this. Your energy gone. Okay? These people are about to experience this shit. Just like God struck those cities down, God will strike these people's spirits down. They're about to go through adversity. Poverty. <sighs> Some of them imprisonment mentally and spiritually. And only the rats are going to come looking for them. Let's close this out, Holy Spirit. Protect your kids. If you have young kids, be mindful of what they're watching. Don't let them sit too much on tablets. Don't, you know, I know you guys want your time and your space, but there are things you can do with your kids and take them out to the park. Okay. Have a coloring session. Get coloring paint, coloring arts and craft stuff. Create things together. Be mindful of what you guys are doing. If you have children, do not have them on the tablet. Give them to the... T Don't let the TV watch them. Don't let that in your home. Be mindful of the time that they're spending on, on the phones, on the, t on the tablets. Mm -hmm. The star and the low vibration. Be mindful, collective. Make your kids start fucking feeling despair. They start getting sick. Without that electronic. Mm -mm. Like there's nothing else for me to do. No, there is. Let's go to the store and get some coloring books and coloring crayons and arts and crafts stuff. Let's go to the park. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. We're raising strong entrepreneurs. We're not raising people. We're, we're not raising kids. Like, we're not raising karmics. I want to raise I want to raise a non karmic child. That's what I've got to have. And so I'm, I you know and I wish I'd learned this before. My, all my kids have been grown out of my house years now. Um And at that time when my kids were younger too, they didn't even have all that shit. I couldn't afford getting them all a phone and a tablet each. They used to, they talk shit about me because of that. Everybody had the newest phone. Everybody had the newest tablet. Everybody had, uh, 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 uh. Well, guess what? Everybody had two parents in their home. I didn't. Okay? <laughs> Can't do that. Be strong, guys. You guys got this. Yeah. Some of you guys are literally in hermit mode and spirit has you sitting down so you can learn something. See something in a different perspective. Don't be quick to believe everything you see with your two eyes. Feel it. Sit down and just really go within and be honest with yourselves. Um, I don't know whose message this is. But this is what I have. Love and light.